What's up, everybody? Did you miss me? <laughs> I like Get out that. of my frame. Get out. Well, here. I mean, go ahead. Take over. Today, we are shooting with this. Babe, just come back. <laughs> just go. I'm waiting. Um, today, we're going to be shooting with different light modifiers. Light beauty dish, softbox, and umbrella. She's going to be my subject, and we're going to go ahead and uh, basically compare all the modifiers and show you what to expect from them. Are you ready, babe? Yep. All right, so the purpose of a beauty dish is to sculpt and to give emphasis on someone's facial features using light. The quality of light that you get out of a beauty dish is a harsh light. So you're gonna get strong highlights and you're gonna get strong shadows. So you wanna make sure you place it right above the model's face to really give a nice even sculpt on their face and uh, you can get some really pleasing results like that. Did this angle? Oh shit. She didn't even notice <laughs> no, she wasn't right. <laughs> All right, look, so when you're using a beauty dish, try to keep it centered off and try to keep the middle of the beauty dish hitting their face and you wanna have it as close as possible to them to get the most flattering light. If you start moving it off to the side at a 45 degree angle, you're not gonna get flattering results. All right, so next up is the Westcott 36 inch rapid box switch. This is gonna be my new favorite modifier, by the way. It is a double diffused modifier, so it has two diffusions of uh, two panels of diffusion inside of it, and you're gonna notice placed in the same exact spot as the beauty dish, it's gonna give you a lot softer light. And when I say softer, you're gonna notice that the highlights are not as strong, and it's gonna soften up the shadows, so the, the shadows are not as harsh using this modifier. And unlike the beauty dish, when you put this modifier off to the side, which is my favorite place to put this kind of modifier. At a 45 degree angle, you're still getting flattering light because since the octobox is so big, the light's bouncing around everywhere. It gives you more of a wrapping effect on her face. So the light wraps around her and it creates really nice flattering shadows instead of that really harsh look that the beauty dish gave. Also, if you have a girlfriend or wife that likes to hump you when you're bending over anywhere near them, I trust me, I feel your pain. <laughs> Last but not least, we're looking at the trusty umbrella. You know, that $10 modifier that comes in super clutch whenever you need it. Well, the umbrella is a great modifier for the studio because when you take it outside, you have to deal with the wind blowing it over and, and all that stuff. So in the studio, it's a really nice modifier and you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars. The thing with the umbrella is that the light, it, you expect the light to be bouncing around everywhere. There is nothing to contain the light to, or to give the light direction. It's going to be bouncing around everywhere, so keep that in mind. But overall, you do get a decent amount of soft light, but it is not as... It is not as soft as that double diffuse soft box. Just like the Octobox, when you place the umbrella to the side, you're still gonna get flattering light and flattering shadows on a model's face because again, it is a bigger light source and it's gonna bounce around everywhere. Unlike the Beauty Dish where it has some really sharp uh, shadows on her face. At the end of the day, it all depends on the look that you're going for. There isn't one modifier that fits everything. So hopefully this video has helped you make a decision on your future modifier purchase. The links to all the modifiers are down below in the description box. So make sure to check those out. And uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. Uh, hopefully Diana can come on board more often because she's always a blast to work with. See you guys later. Peace.